Yeah, because I don't think the record company were very happy, right? Because uh, they'd done the album, which is on my hallway, and um, I'd, I'd left and never returned. It released in South Africa. I don't know what it did or anything. I hadn't heard a thing. I just, I was in Melbourne, and things happened in Melbourne. From, from a track off the album, doing a, a show in Melbourne, Victoria, um, with Channel 9, uh, <laughs> things just happened. I got another shot and another shot. Then, eventually, I got the offer from Channel 7 to do a regular Saturday night show on television. Every Saturday night, called Penthouse Club. And it was like a mixture of sport and what had gone on through the day in sport in a, like a penthouse nightclub situation where the, the um, customers in were around tables, it was like a club with, with beer from Carlton and Foster's and that sort of thing. And, um, and we did our show. Then they would have interviews with the Aussie footballers, the cricketers, whatever was the scene at the time. And then a break, because we have Cliffport would come in or Sexy Legs I was named because of something happened there that they thought when it just clicked. And uh, I, I just enjoyed it. It was just me enjoying myself and singing the songs that I enjoyed and liked. And, uh, and it just came across fine. And then, because they never believed that I'd been a pro footballer, they thought it was just a lie and a kidum and this, till people came from the UK to play in Aussie in their um, summer season break, you know, little tour for the guys, and um, uh, it was a case of like Mike Summerby, Manchester City. I got him on the show, and he said, "Yeah, hey, Cliff's played. Yeah, of course." Yeah. So it, the proof came that I wasn't telling lies or anything about my ex career. And that's what I did. So it all fell into place, and being a sporting sort of program. Uh, the, the, the Saturday night, peak time, it was on about half past eight till about half past ten, two hours. And I did two songs each, each Saturday night. I don't know what it was, I got it from some sort of commercial there that sort of I heard and I played. And, and I kept saying, because when, every, when everybody came up to me and said, well, what do you think about that, Cliff? And I was and just said, me think it amazing. <laughs> so they, they go, wow, and they all started roaring laughing and this sort of thing. And it, it just sort of clicked with me and stayed, you know, and, you know, people sort of driving in the street, stopping at the traffic lights, winding windows down, saying, hey, what do you think, Cliff? And I'd go, me think it amazing. <laughs> and it just, it just stuck. Bit of nonsense, but it was, uh, it was something that recognised me and... Uh,